What's going on, everybody? Welcome back here uh, to the channel. As you guys can see, outside a little bit right now, um, walking in Orlando, Florida right now for a few days. As you guys uh, maybe know, I've been on a big journey. Uh, been traveling all around. Been hopping around from Airbnb to Airbnb for over a year now, which has been pretty amazing, actually. Pretty amazing experience. And of course, these uh, this time of year, it's good to be in warmer weather. A little chilly today, actually, in Florida, but still not too bad if you're from the Midwest or Northeast, right? Uh, no snow here in Florida. But in this video, I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about my overall exit strategy in crypto. And I think this is important because people love to talk about, you know, making 100Xs. People love to talk about how they're going to make millions of dollars in crypto and Listen, I think we all want that, right? We all want that and are striving for that. And some people, many people, have already achieved a certain you know, portion of that. But not a lot of people talk about what their actual goals are in terms of getting out, right? And actually exiting. And it doesn't have to be exiting completely, but giving some type of strategy and having some type of strategy in place is super important because we've all been in that situation where you think the crypto is going to go up forever and you get absolutely wrecked because you hold on to it too long. And by the way, most influencers don't talk about their losses. And I'm going to try to talk about that more because I want you guys to understand I've lost a lot of money in crypto to make a lot of money in crypto. I don't have some golden ticket. I don't have, you know, anything at my disposal that allows me to just automatically win in crypto. Now, networking is very, very important, obviously. Having a plan and a good strategy in place, very, very important. And I wanted to talk about just kind of my overall kind of 10-year plan with crypto and where I'm at. And I want to preface all of this by saying... I'm 33 years old, going to be 34 this month. And that matters because you're going to have a different perspective. You're going to have a different mindset. You're going to have a different strategy depending on how old you are and what other types of investments you want to get into, right? So with all of that being said, I think I want to start by saying this. I have about a 10-year window where I really want to make most of my gains in crypto from now, really from 2021 all the way to 2031. And I think it starts with Bitcoin. My first big goal is to accumulate as much Bitcoin as humanly possible. Not only just stacking sats and buying Bitcoin every single day, which I do do, but it's also utilizing the altcoin market in order to make gains and pull those gains out and put it back into Bitcoin. Because at the end of the day, altcoins are super speculative. And we don't know which altcoins are going to actually be here long term. We can speculate. And as we gain more insight and information, as we get further down the road, we'll certainly have more information and better indications on which cryptos will be here long term, right? I mean, I think you can make an argument that cryptos like Ethereum, XRP, Chainlink, Polygon, some of these top cryptos right at the top have a pretty good chance, I would say, right, of being here at the end of the day. But we don't know for sure. So the goal is to mitigate risk by holding a majority of my cryptos, uh, crypto assets in Bitcoin and Ethereum. And I've talked about this. My top five also includes a couple other ones, Caspa right now, uh, as well as Cardano and uh, Polygon. Okay, sorry, it was uh, raining, so I had to get out of the rain and finish this video. But here's the moral of the story, guys. You know, I'm not planning on holding any crypto other than Bitcoin long term. And that could change down the line when we know more about crypto. But right now, the biggest gains are had speculating and selling, 
taking a profit. And again, most YouTubers, they won't tell you this. Most YouTubers will basically just say, hold on for dear life, I'm gonna hold this asset for 10 years. Now, will Ethereum be a 10 year hold eventually for me? Maybe, Chainlink, Polygon, XRP, and others? It could certainly change. But right now, my goal ahead of this next bull run, take profits on altcoins because you're gonna get bigger gains in altcoins than you're gonna get in Bitcoin and put that money in less risky assets. So if it's back into crypto, it's gonna be stacking Bitcoin for me. But I'm also gonna be pulling some of those profits from altcoins and putting it into the S&P 500, Apple stock, Amazon, Nvidia, Tesla. So by the way, on the stock market side of things, I take way, way less risk. Crypto is my risky asset class. Then I want to power drive those gains, those profits into low risk assets like the S&P 500, like solid stocks, like mutual funds. And I also have a goal to accumulate two pieces of real estate by 2025 and grow that portfolio. And obviously start other businesses. Software as a service uh, is kind of where my direction is right now. So you have to have these big goals and you have to have exit plans and exit strategies in place. Otherwise, you're just gonna be sitting there holding this crypto, not knowing what you should do. And so many people get into investing without a plan, without an exit strategy. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, in 2021, I made a ton of mistakes not selling assets when they were going up like crazy. I'm not going to make those same mistakes again. Will I be perfect? Will I win every trade? Absolutely not. And that's the other thing that people don't tell you in this industry. If you're gonna play the altcoin market, you are going to lose a lot, a lot. Now, if you're just buying and holding a lot of altcoins and that's your only strategy, okay. But as you guys know, I'm a trader too. And I get into a lot of startups, a lot of different assets that don't go well and I lose money, but if you wanna play that altcoin game, you have to have the capital in order to lose before you win big. And if you don't have that capital right now, that's okay. I never did either when I first started. So I couldn't invest $500 into all these different altcoins. A lot of people ask me, Zach, how are you invested in 70 plus different cryptos? How do you know what's going on? Because most of the time I'm in and out of those. I have stop losses on. If I lose 30 to 40%, usually I just cut my losses and get out. So I'm constantly in and out of different projects, in and out of different altcoins. And again, the overall goal is to stack big wins that may only come two out of every 10, three out of every 10. And by the way, this strategy is not for everybody. It's the strategy that I've deployed right now. So I don't, I'm not saying, listen to me, I've got it figured out. I've got this way that you're gonna you know, make it or whatever. Other people will tell you, just invest in Bitcoin and Ethereum and set it and forget it. And that is certainly a strategy. And that is my strategy, but I wanna build capital in order to boost those holdings. And I do that through the altcoin market. So again, not a lot of people talk about exit strategies, but overall guys, in the next 10 years, it could be very likely that I hold Bitcoin only but throughout these next five, six, seven, eight years, altcoin gains and altcoin wins have allowed me to stack a lot more Bitcoin, have allowed me to stack a lot more into my stock market portfolio, more Tesla, more Apple, more Amazon, more Nvidia. And they've allowed me to maybe buy a new property or something on the retail side of things, right? So that's my overall goal uh, with crypto and with altcoins. I hope this video finds you well. I really, really, want to start talking more about strategy and where I'm at. And by the way, it's gonna change. Like I don't have a one size fits all, never never deviate. I'm always learning, I'm always adapting, I'm always trying to find if there's a better way that suits my goals. So I hope you got some value out of this video. I really appreciate everybody. Uh, check out all my links down below if you guys want uh, a trading indicator, obviously, and start trading with me on crypto and stocks. You can do that. Uh, I've got some trading platforms down there. You could sign up using my uh, links and you'll get some good discounts. If you need a VPN, I've got you covered with Nord down there, four months free. 
I've got three other YouTube channels, one that I'm really working on a lot. It's the Grow With Zach channel. It'll be amazing if you come over and join me and talk a little bit more and listen to me a little bit more talk about my journey as an entrepreneur and things I've learned, and it's kind of a more macro channel. So we're almost at 1,200 subs over there. We're growing it slowly. And um, I really, really appreciate everybody out there. Would not be able to do this, obviously, without you. So thank you. Thank you, and have a fantastic day. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.